So I'm going to go through this and I'll pick out patterns that I notice, trends, and just give you feedback on this printing paper. Okay, so first thing I notice, right, is, okay, look at this, all full marks. Um, actually, maybe I should say something about the, why is it full marks, right? As you can see, the teacher is sticking all these keywords. So because you're spamming keywords, that is why you see sticky ends, being out, sticky complementary, um, DNA ligase, transgenic. You see that, like, all these are being ticked. So it's a good sign that the more keywords you spam, uh, the higher chance that you'll get full mark. Okay, then let's look at this, right? Two ways in which A part 3, which is black capillaries, are adapted to perform their function. So let's say it's highly branched, okay, to increase rate of diffusion. So this is the, the, the structure evidence, good. Then this is the result already, but where, where is the explanation? So it's because it increases the surface area to in contact with actually don't need to say in contact just increases the surface area okay so the explanation was missing there that's why you didn't get that full mark and then um they asked two ways right you only gave one way so that's not answering the question okay then let's look at this question they said stay and explain two features of the heart so the heart like things like um the wall is thick of the left ventricle or the valves right that open and close that prevent back flow of blood these are features of the heart but you see when you talk about, oh look, there's this artery which is example aorta, right? So that is connected to the heart, but it's uh, very dangerous because you're not answering specifically about the heart anymore. So it's not answering the question. Okay, so that's another reason, another example of not answering question. Okay, there's another here. So um, they said how you would test for the presence of proteins. Okay, that's the first mark because it's the two mark question. And then state the expected results. So what I expect in this answer, if you're answering the question, is... Give me the test and then tell me for a healthy person, would it be positive or negative test? So proteins are not supposed to pass through the partially permeable basement membrane because they're too large. So it won't be found in urine and so it should be negative test. Okay, but you were saying here, this is the two possible observations. So you see, again, not answering the question, even though you know the correct content. Okay, then in this question, right, you see, explain the trend from 0 to 6 minutes where he's exercising. You can see that there's an increase in heart rate. So basically, it give three marks of why does it increase okay and then you can even say why does it stay constant here um, for me what I'll do with these three marks is I will talk about the trend that that's one mark description then I would give two marks to explaining okay then how would I explain right um, why does our heart rate need to increase during exercise that's what the question is actually asking explain this trend you already described up there so that's why the teacher said don't describe anymore, they're not giving you marks. Okay, that makes sense. So don't need to quote the data here because you already did it up there. So just go straight into explaining. So one reason that you said is um one mark is the muscular contractions. Okay, so this one is where you say all the you just spam all the keywords. Due to the increased muscular contractions, this requires more energy that's generated released through aerobic respiration. So more oxygen, which is a reactant, needs to be sent to the muscles. Hence we increase the heart rate to send oxygen and nutrients actually to muscles faster to keep up with the demand. And also the nutrients like glucose is used in aerobic respiration. So I think if you say all this right, that's a two mark already. Okay. Okay, I will also say uh, so that we can remove metabolic waste products such as carbon dioxide from the body faster. That's why we need to increase heart rate because it's producing more of this from the muscles, right? So faster heart rate allows us to transport it faster to the lungs where it can be removed. So that will be my third mark. So I'm explaining basically why we need blood to be pumping around the body faster when you exercise. Okay, then explain from 8 to 12. So 8 to 12 what's happening is here, right, where it's dropping. So why is it that it dropped a bit? And then here it's the constant. We just need to talk about why is it dropping, but why is it still kind of high even though he's resting and not at zero. So I will talk about, okay, I, I would give two points, right? The first point is like, why is it even decreasing? Because he's no longer exercising, he's at rest. So the demand for muscles is now back to normal. So that's why the, the oxygen demand has dropped. And so there's no need to pump the blood so fast anymore the second mark will be about why is it not all the way back down to resting levels i believe his resting levels should be at 60 beats per minute so why is it not back yet at 60 would be due to the oxygen depth explanation so i would say that blood still needs to be pumped quickly around the body to remove lactic acid from muscles transported to the liver where it can be removed from the body and also oxygen demand is not completely back at resting levels because of the oxygen debt that needs to be repaid okay that uh, oxygen is required to remove lactic acid 
at the liver. Yeah, so that's explaining why it's not back all the way down. Yeah, so yeah, the mistake here was saying anaerobic respiration to replay. No, it's aerobic actually. You don't even need to say this. You can just say oxygen is required to remove lactic acid at the liver. Okay, yeah, the problem here is that O, O, A, and B are the phenotypes. And in the gametes, right, you need to draw the allele. So the genotypes are basically the two alleles. And then gamete is just one allele each. This O, A, O, A, B is phenotypes, which we shall be writing at the bottom only. Okay, look, uh, this is also not answering the question because they're asking what does this mean? What is the phenomenon of multiple alleles? and show how it's exemplified in the blood groups. So this one is actually answering, you see alleles are different out of the same gene, that's kind of answering like what an allele is. Yeah, okay, and then this one, if you have two A gametes, you have blood type A, mm, you mean if you have two A alleles, right, then you will have blood type A. So it's kind of explaining what an allele is and how you would result in certain blood types, but not explaining the concept of multiple alleles. So we need to ask what's the definition, which is in our notes, okay, of multiple alleles. Let's go find it. They see three or more alleles exist for a gene. So we're going to write in that definition into the answer and then show how this is true for A, B, O blood groups because there are these three alleles. So it fits the definition. And then you do the same thing for the codominance. Okay, it's not right to say that blood type A and B are codominant over O because these are the phenotype, right? Rather, the allele is dominant over O. So you should write I, A and I, B are dominant over O. Okay, but even then, even if you fix this part of the phrasing, right, it's still not answering the question because we're trying to show how codominance is existing. Whereas when you say A, I, I, A and I, B are dominant over I, O, that's just complete dominance. That's not codominance. A will completely override O, right? And so will B. So these are examples of dominance, not examples of codominance. So to answer the question, we need to show an example of codominance existing, which is um, firstly, what's the definition, right? The definition, let's go here, is this. Two different alleles, both express, both influencing phenotypes. So you use the example of A, B blood group and show how both A and B antigens are present in the plasma membrane and that is actually answering the definition right like it's an example of the definition this question is like give the definition then give the example so yeah i hope you see why it wasn't really answering the question for this one okay i also see some content reasons also so for example see pollen grains don't come from the filament right they come from the enter and then so this one when is the best period for implanting a fertilized ovum right uh actually the closer you are to day 21 where it's very high both hormones right that is the best because it's at the stickers, the lining side is thicker, so I would actually write somewhere around here instead of day 16. So I think again, this is a content reason. Same for this one, influenza is not caused by bacteria, content reason. Yeah, another content reason, you see, wilting is not due to photosynthesis. Wilting is caused by an equation going off balance, which is that rate of our absorption, how much water we take in, is less than how much water we are losing, rate of transpiration. So when that happens, then wilting. So that's why explaining using photosynthesis and then wilts is a wrong concept. That's not what causes wilting. So that was a concept thing. Okay, then this one is kind of not answering the question again, right? See, you're talking about oxygen when they ask about carbon cycle. So we're talking about how carbon moves throughout the ecosystem, not oxygen. It's not, yeah, like, like the teacher wrote, it's not the focus. Okay, and then this one was a content point missed out. That's why you didn't get three full marks. Um, why is it important in the ecosystem, right? So I think that do not cause global warming is like a side point that is true but it's not a main focus in, in our syllabus for answering this kind of question. So actually you see our notes right, why is photosynthesis important? So you can get carbon compounds into the plants and then these carbon compounds move to other consumers up the food chain to give them food, to give them energy. So you notice you talk about taking, okay this one is about respiration, then this one photosynthesis, yeah then actually it didn't talk, didn't have carbon compounds huh, which is an important keyword in this topic so please put that in okay i believe here's how to get four marks for this question uh. talk about the structures the organelles in terms of their structures so one clear um structure difference is that the root hair cell has the elongated protrusion and has to increase sa to v for faster absorption of water and mineral salts okay then another difference is varying presence of chloroplasts. There's no chloroplasts because they're underground, they don't receive light so they can't photosynthesize but the polysium is so far is above ground, it receives light so it can photosynthesize and that's its job. And then varying number of organelles. So root hair cell will have more mitochondria because it needs to release a lot of energy through aerobic respiration for active transport of mineral salt against the concentration gradient from the salt into the cell cell. So that's why it will have a lot of mitochondria but the polysium is so far do not need to do that so they will have less mitochondria. They won't have no mitochondria because they need for aerobic respiration but they will have less. They 
they don't have this extra job that they need to do of the active transporting mineral salts. Okay, so that's just a lack of substance, like a lack of points. So cell walls help to keep the cells in shape, right? That's not answering the question. The question, right, does not... Okay, compare means you can give both similarity and difference, right? So actually saying both have cell walls is okay, but then you don't need to explain why they both have cell walls, like to keep the cells uh, in shape, right? And prevent it from bursting. So you don't need to explain because the question asks for only account for differences, but don't need to account for the similarity. Okay, I feel like this one, you were answering question. I think it's just a content problem. So this one, yeah, balancing the equation is important, especially because it's chemistry, right? Chemical equation. <laughs> In chemistry, if you don't balance, you die, right? And then this one, light below chlorophyll, uh, light energy. I prefer you to write light energy. This is just pure content. It's like in our note. Let's find it. Yeah, look at that. So this is the chemical equation. And then factors affecting photosynthesis. So the more light you have, then uh, at first it works, right? Because more light means you are more input into this equation. So you get more output, which is more glucose produced. But then at very high light intensity, no longer limiting factor. So this thing is what the question is asking, this whole thing. So that's why you're supposed to put in here. So I think it's just a content question because you did realize that it does taper. You did realize that. So you do realize, okay, there's a, like it, it only works to a certain extent, then it no longer increases the rate. So I think it's just a content question that you didn't realize you need to pull that in from, from that uh, CAQ. Hey guys, so if that was helpful for you, then subscribe to our channel. If you'd like to join our O-Level Pure Bio Tuition classes, then click the link below or go to thatbiotutor.com.